All right, what's up guys? So today I'm gonna be showing you some of my golf shots and we're kind of gonna discuss the future of course vlogs on this channel and kind of what I wanna do to get these videos better. Because when I was recording today, um, the GoPro footage, for some reason, like just straight up did not record audio for 90% of the clips. There was two clips where it recorded perfect audio where I had my microphone plugged in and the rest of it, it just didn't work. The audio, like you can hear it very faintly if you turn it up maximum, but I don't know why it did that. But this was me and my cousin's tee shots on the first hole. This was my first round of golf actually in two months, crazily enough, but I hit it in to the middle of the fairway after a terrible tee shot, honestly. It, it just got her down along the ground, went about 150 yards, but I think I had a seven iron in. I just put it uh, to the right hand side of the green, uh, just short of the bunker, but it was a decent shot. As you can see, this is where I ended up. Hit a little bit of a chip shot and just ran it a, a little by. There wasn't much green to work with there. It was a tough shot, but I gave myself about a 10 footer for par on the first hole. But yeah, I'm actually thinking about getting a new camera. So you can see the footage here isn't that great. This is a, a kind of mixture between my phone and the GoPro. My phone footage usually looks better than this. I don't know why it kind of uh, looks like the lighting is a little off on the phone clips. I don't know why that is. It usually looks pretty good. I was recording in 4K 60 FPS as well, uh, but this is the GoPro footage very zoomed in there. And as you can see, uh, that one and straight left and smacked off the tree. You probably saw it, uh, but it smacked off the tree and came back down into play, thankfully enough. Uh, excuse the, the top of the microphone here coming down, but I actually hit a really good second shot here on this hole. Uh, beautiful three wood, got it down there to about 50. As you can see my reaction there, it was a, it was a gorgeous shot, but uh, uh, we actually unfortunately did not hit this hard enough. I just didn't even come close to hitting it hard enough. I didn't actually have bad contact. I just uh, underestimated how hard I needed to hit that. I was, I think like, 50, 60 yards out. And I left myself a nice little chip. As you can see, it's a nice little walk down the fairway here and uh, left myself this chip here uh, to get up and down for a five. And that was pretty nice. Pretty nice uh, chip there. Chipping isn't the strongest part of my game by any means. I would say it's one of the weaker parts of my game. And that's what I left myself for a bogey. Back-to-back -back bogeys to start the day, that is. And there you go. Just about get it. Little fist pump for myself. I was hyped about that one. Uh, haven't got to play golf, as I said, in two months. So it was really nice to get out here and play around. This was my best drive of the day, probably. Um, the wind was coming in hard from right to left and I smashed it up there and as you can see it drew back nicely and ended up down there um, a decent distance. I think I ended up carrying that, uh, not carrying that, our total of like 280 or something like that and left myself uh, a decent chance to go for this and two, my cousin hit one of the worst drives of his life absolutely duck hooked it into the trees there as you can see he was completely off balance. My cousin hasn't played in like six months by the way, he's not a regular golfer um, but uh, he, he played pretty decently I'll say. I think he had a triple bogey. Uh, that one went out to the right a little bit. Again, the wind brought it back in a little bit, um, but you can see that one started way right and kind of stayed out there. It went, got past the trees at least. Wasn't my best shot. I was actually going for the green there, um, but I just didn't catch it at all and left myself this one. The one thing you don't want to do is go in the bunker. What did I do? I went in the bunker. I literally said it to myself. That's why I was so angry there. You can say I was angry. And this hole just turned into an absolute disaster. Bunker shot, thinned it over the green and... Um, I just did not have a good time on this hole at all. You see, I'll come and, and duff that chip. Well, I didn't duff it. I, I boned that chip down through the other side and I ended up with a double bogey here on this hole. So not ideal at all. This was the, the fourth hole, the nice par three. And I thought I'd actually hit this pretty decently, but apparently not. I ended up like 50 yards short of the green. <laughs> I was like, what the hell? Um, but yeah, I, I think I kind of just uh, didn't catch all of it. Uh, but as you see, I chipped it down there onto the green. Uh, it was like middle of the green, still a decent putt, but I two putted for a four there. As you can see, you can see me talking here as if I'm talking into the microphone, but there's absolutely no volume at all. <laughs> so I was here talking into the microphone for no reason. I looked like a bit of a dickhead. I'm there like, oh, look at me. I'm hitting bad shots because I'm playing really shit today. And I was playing really poorly, to be fair. This drive is fun because the tees were up and you can kind of just cut the corner. Uh, I cut it a little bit too much. And as you can see, uh, the wind started to bring that way back to the right. It was still in bounds. Um, got a little bit lucky with that one. You'll see where we ended up, actually. It wasn't that lucky, to be fair, because it was in a precarious spot. But it could have uh, down the right there is all out of bounds. So you could have easily been out of bounds there. Uh, my cousin hit a beauty down the middle of the fairway. And this is the only two clips where the audio recorded now. So I'll let myself talk uh, talk you through this part. All right. Look at the shot I have for fuck's sake. And it just clips the branches, unfortunately. It was actually very unlucky. I think I hit a good shot there. You can see I said I thought that was actually gonna be good. 
and then I hit, uh, I'm not too happy with this one, but it really didn't end up that badly. Um, it's, it's a decent it's way right. short of the pin. Anyway. It's on the green though. That's anyway. not too bad. We have two putts for a five. So we'll see if I can two-putt for a five here. But yeah, I'm thinking about getting a new camera. I was streaming the other day, and the super chats and the memberships, the gifted memberships that poured in, I was saying I was thinking about getting a new camera, and everyone was basically saying, put this towards your camera fund. Um, so uh, Darren Perky and Inked Elephant and Christian Nickerson in particular uh, came in with some bomb donations and gifted subs and stuff like that. And I do make the putt for the five. But yes, I'm thinking about getting an, a, a camera dedicated for course vlogs basically with a little tripod and um and kind of see where we go from there because i really do believe that we could make some fire content um out there on the course but i need to get two good microphones um for me and whoever i'm playing with uh, to be mic'd up while we're playing and then i need to get a good camera and i think that uh, with the support that i've gotten recently by the way this hole this was for a birdie you saw my three wood shot there but unfortunately, the GoPro didn't record the second shot. It recorded like six seconds of it for some reason. But there you go. That was my first birdie Good. of the day. After a horrible start, I think I was uh, six over through five. That got me back to five over through six, which was a, a nice feeling there to uh, to get the birdie. Um, but yeah, it was a beautiful nine iron that I hit in. For some reason, the GoPro is on 41%, right? But it said that it ran out of battery for some reason. And I came bad. back to it and it said it was out of battery. So as my cousin says there, it's not bad. Um, that was a decent shot. This is where I ended up. I was a little bit short right. I thought my ball went way down left because someone's drive made it look like my ball went way down left, but it was actually a decent shot here. And uh, I went for a putt off the green to try and get it down there. You have to be so careful. That's why I'm telling it to stop there because it can easily run off the back and go all the way down into that little uh, valley behind. And it's a really tough up and down from there. Um, this is, <laughs> I was joking. Not bad, actually. <laughs> Did you think we shit or something? <laughs> I thought you were trying to be cool, like walking away as I did the hole. You'll hear my thick Irish accent come out a lot more when I'm talking to my cousin. As you can see, you saw nothing there. False advertisement right there. False advertisement. <laughs> <laughs> my cousin's a dipshit <laughs> that was funny though and uh yeah i i i got a bogey there really but uh power on my second attempt with the putt at least <laughs> it was a silly putt i'm gonna try our best that nah, boys i am sick into my stomach right this gopro better have recorded both those shots because the only two really good shots i've hit today was the one where i birdied on hole uh six where i hit a nine iron i'm hoping it recorded huh Am I short? All right, I'm just short here. I hit a fucking savage three wood. Hopefully I recorded it though, but the GoPro for some reason, even though both times it was on 41% and it was on 34% there. It like automatically shut off for some reason. And oh, by the way, by the caps boys, they're looking slick on the golf course. But yeah, it, it just randomly shut off and said insufficient power to keep going. Like, fuck you. Shank. But yeah, I was a little upset that the only two good shots I hit with the uh, with the GoPro recording were not even recorded, actually. Like, they shut off after, like, five seconds both times, which was <laughs> it was wholly upsetting, but um, whatever. We had this to get up and down for a birdie. I was there for an eagle. Um, as you can see, left it a little bit short, but we still had that for a birdie. Let's see if we can convert. Huh? huh? Should have chipped that way. Caddy cousin, they call him. Oh! <laughs> Lip out Larry strikes into the heart of the Apex Hound. That was harsh, and uh, I deserve the birdie there, I feel like, but uh, what can you do? Green was 50 yards to the right to be sorted.
my cousin's laughing at my pain a little bit too much. But I think I was nine. I think I was five or six over at this point. And uh, we had to get up and down for a par here. Um, chipped a, a decent one. Left myself a tough putt for a par. Uh, my cousin had this for a birdie, actually. We don't use my 100 euro voucher. He just pays straight up for the meal. For no good reason. <laughs> I just want him to suffer. So as you can see, it was definitely more than five foot, but this was for my second birdie of the day uh, on hole 10. I didn't really record any of the uh, of the back two holes there, the back nine or whatever, um, 10 and 11. We only played 11 holes and I didn't record them because I was just recording the front nine for the course log basically. Uh, but I decided I'd record my birdie putt and I rattled it in there. And this was the final drive of the day. Uh, just thought it was a picturesque drive to finish on. And we hit a pretty good one. It was slightly out to the right, but uh, oh, worked yeah. out pretty well. It's a bomb. But basically, guys, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed that little short course vlog. And if you did, make sure to drop a like. And I will be doing more actually high quality professional course vlogs in 2023. That's definitely a goal of mine in the future is to do more course vlogs with higher quality. And that's definitely where the new camera and the new microphones and stuff are going to come in. So that's my next investment is to get a good camera for course vlogs, get two uh, microphones that I can actually uh, mic up me and another person with. And then from there, kind of uh, just get to it. When Alex comes over, he's a, we're looking at maybe him coming over in March or April or something like that. And we're we're gonna record a couple course logs when he's over and kind of maybe release them around the same time as the EA Sports PGA Tour game comes out. If that does uh, decide to come out, out around the Masters, that would be awesome. Uh, but anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, this was kind of a, a shorter chill video, but I hope you enjoyed it nonetheless. And I'll see you guys next time. It's been my pleasure to serve you all. And apologies for the quality of some of these golf shots and stuff like that. And I, I was rusty as hell playing and uh, obviously using the phone and the GoPro. It's not ideal, but uh, we'll get better with time and I can't wait to get that new camera and uh, I'm gonna look into it. If you have any suggestions for me, please let me know because I really don't really, I don't really know what are good cameras for recording like um, uh, sports or golf course vlogs or kind of action, I guess. Um, I know the good, good boys and the um, and Rick Shields and them probably use like $6,000 cameras. Now I'm not gonna be able to do that. I'm not gonna be able to use those like $10,000 cameras, but I wanna get a good camera still. Um, I wanna invest in a really good camera to try and make the content as good as possible for 2023. So I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Uh, peace out.